Hello, my name is Dylan Scrabble with the Pepperland Fuchs Technical Support Team. Today I'm going to be showing you how to program two UC ultrasonic sensors that are part of the IO Link ultrasonic demo case. I'll be showing you how to program a UC2000 with discrete outputs. You can see the push buttons right here. And I'll also be showing you how to program a UC500 with the push buttons right here and here. These programming steps are actually identical. So I'll only be programming the UC2000 with discrete outputs. But if you wanted to program the UC500, you would follow the same steps. As I stated earlier, this UC2000 has two push buttons. T1 sets the first output. T2 sets the second output. For the sake of this video, I'm going to program the outputs to be identical. So to set the near switch point, hold T1 for two seconds. You'll see the lights flash. Take your target, set it at the set point you want. You'll notice that if it's angled incorrectly, the light will flash red. That means the sensor isn't getting a good echo back. So we'll put this in here to stabilize it. Hold T1 very briefly, less than two seconds you'll see the green light flash. We'll do the same exact thing with T2. Hold it, lights will flash, push it very briefly, and the green light will flash again. Both set points are now set. So now we're going to set the far switch point. Hold T1 for two seconds. The lights will flash again. Hold it again once you set your target to the far switch point for two seconds. You'll see the lights flash. We'll do the same thing with T2. Hold it for two seconds, set your target to the required distance, hold T2 for two seconds again. Both switch points are now set. When I move the target, you'll notice that all orange lights turn off. When I enter the window, all orange lights turn on. When I get in front of them, they turn off again. This would be a good way to program the ultrasonic sensor if you only used a few ultrasonic sensors. For window mode, which we set up, would be a good use if you wanted to shoot across a conveyor belt and only see what was in the conveyor, not what was after it, not what was before it. Single switch point mode would be useful if targets were coming directly at the ultrasonic sensor. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or comment on the video below. Also, please remember to like and share our video as well as subscribing to our YouTube channel for continued updates. Thank you and have a nice day.